Space is Sims, and we are back with more Morgan Saves the World. And we have got a lot of makeovers. I did a lot. Um, I didn't quite do enough. Uh, I did... All right, so we've already looked at our first kind of groupings. I have like seven more families for us to look at. I almost finished. That was where we... Okay, so like... We had a day where we only managed to impregnate three people. This was before we just started going door to door. And we were actually trying to meet people out. Um, and then the next day we had four. So I've got all of those. So I've got all those seven couple like groups of kids. Two of them are sets of twins. Anyway. Um, the next day we actually, I think, hit up ten people. Uh, but I don't have all of them done. So we're not going to go through all of them, but we will start doing more. It's like I was just trying to get ahead and be like, yeah, let's get as many makeovers as I can done. Um, but instead of showing you all like 20 people that I got made over and stuff and like some of them are out of order because I was like, well, while I'm in this house, I might as well make them over. But we're going to go through small grouping. So the first one we are going to go through. So I keep them in order and I don't forget who we're showing you is we're going to go in here. Um some of these will be out of order because, you know. Kenneth or Lobo. All right. Well, me, myself, Sim, doesn't look anything like me, and Velma. We're going to do both of them because they are both within the two days. So they're both <laughs> in their makeover thing. Yeah. So just a reminder yeah. again, here's myself, Sim. Doesn't look anything like me at all. It's very cartoony. My eyes are really not that big. Wow. Um, wow. Just wow. But anyway. Um, so, Vampire, we had... Two children. We have a vampire and a spellcaster. We have Ophelia and Spencer. So, hmm. Morgan and Tessa's daughter, Ophelia, is the. Okay, so she's the vampire. I didn't change her dark form. Um, but anyway, so she ended up with these all traits. Doesn't matter. I just randomized them. But there you go. There's her. I think she's freaking adorable. Like, she's kind of different. I don't know. It's She's one of the few female Sims that. I like because a lot of, we have a lot of like female Sims coming up uh, that we had that he had female like well he had daughters but she's one of the few that I actually really like like she's just I don't know I just like her a lot so there she is there she is lovely Ophelia Ophelia Rose <laughs> okay and then we have Spencer who is the spellcaster um he is actually one of my favorites. Both of these are my favorites. Like, I just love them. But I also, he's just adorably cute, too. So, yeah. I mean, hmm. he got his mom's pink hair, all right? Like, <laughs> and kind of like brownish green eyes. I did those. I don't remember what eyes he had when he aged up, but I gave him, like, brownish yeah. green kind of. So, quote unquote, Hazel. You know, Hazel is basically just, we call it whatever we don't fucking know, if they're brownish green or they're blue gray, even, whatever. I swear, you know, literally, you people, my eyes are hazel. They're like a gray, brown, other people, they're hazel, they're a blue gray, you're like, a green gray is hazel. Like, I think hazel is just when you don't fucking exactly know what color eyes you have. You're like, well, they're kind of like a blue gray color, they're like a green blue. Hazel! Just, what is it even supposed to be? I don't know. Anyway, yes, there is our lovely Spencer. All right, so those are first two. Technically, Velma's child was born in the next um, day, in the next group, but since he's part of one of the ones, we might as well go through him now. He is oddly one of the few male Sims that I do not like. Um, I just, I don't know what it is. He just is like awkward and strange and just not a fan. Just wasn't a fan, which is very odd. So far, all of Morgan's kids have been good looking. And like some of the like the girls, I'm like, yeah, I mean, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But you know me from my male Sims. And it takes a lot for me to be like, like with Ophelia. Fucking love her. She's like so different and strange. I kind of I love her a lot. Um, But yeah, Arthur is just like a kind of like a no. You're like a, there's I think so far only two Sims that have aged up. That I have been like, yeah, mm. nope, nope, mm -mm, nope, not out. But yeah, and Arthur is one of them. We'll see the other one probably in the next part. But yeah, so there you go. Ooh. That's three of his kids. Uh, I 
I'm gonna like go through here. Like, I gotta make sure I mark off and show who we've seen. Okay, so next we have. Don't pay attention to all these other kids. Okay, we're not looking at them yet. They're just other people that I like made over. So we'd already seen Scully's son. He's not in here, obviously, because what I started doing is once I've shown them to you, I'm putting them in like their own household so I can save them to my gallery and I don't have to save like Mulder, Scully and their kids. It'll just be the kids. And it's like, I'm separating out. These are my favorites. These are the ones that like, I absolutely love them, save them as a group so I can use them somewhere else. These are the ones that I really, I like, but they're not my favorites. They're still my like pretty goods. And then I'm going to have the like, yeah, I mean, these guys are fine, I guess. <laughs> so I have my groupings, my A pluses, my A minuses, and then my C's. Um, so anyway, this is Mulder's son, Avery. Wait, yes. Yes, Avery. Okay, so nothing wrong with him. He's fine. He's not one of my favorites, but he's okay. He's still cute. Um, I'm not really sure with him. He's definitely not in my grouping of absolute favorites. But... I'm not sure if he's in the B or the A minus or the C. I'm not really sure. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. But there's also nothing that stands out. Like, he's super fucking cute. Don't get me wrong, right? Like, he's super cute. But I feel like every once in a while you get one of those things, you're like, they're awkward and strange and I like them. Or, my God, they're gorgeous. Or, like, him, he is really good looking. But I don't think there's anything that stands out where you're like, yes. You're like... Yeah, you're good looking, but it's not enough, I think, is the problem, which is unfortunate. But he is still super cute. Like, again, Morgan makes really good kids. Velma does not make good kids because I blame her for that because all of other Morgan's other kids are goddamn gorgeous. But like, you know, so so far we have one that's just like a fail. Mm. And that would have been Velma's son. Anyway, but that's Avery. He's also a spellcaster, obviously, because he can't fucking stand still. Fuck. Uh, so he's yeah I mean again nothing's wrong with him it's just he's not one of my favorites and I know sometimes my favorites are odd because I'm like this one's absolutely my don't look at them stop looking at them okay so then next we have Isis's children and so Isis was our um, alien robot girl Sir who's Pavel, technically sure. our time lord time ladies you know uh her first companion, basically. So this is Isis. I didn't show you Fox Mulder, but I mean, hi. You know, whatever. So anyway, there she is in whatever outfit she's wearing. Now, she had two kids. Yes, she had Luna and Skylar. I love hmm. both of them. Both of them are kind of him. Oh, God, no, not that outfit, girl. Put on your regular everyday outfit. Thank you. It's the only one I made over. Um, I like them a lot. They're probably in my, like, a minus to A plus. I'm not quite sure where they fit, but I like them. I like both of them. Obviously, she's a spellcaster. I think Skylar is too. Yeah, but like, she is so freaking like, because she looks like an alien. She's got these giant fucking eyes and like, and these are the Praline Sims eyes where you can like layer the different pieces under tattoos. Um, and you can do the different like, like highlights and stuff like that. So that's why her eyes look a little crazy because it kind of works for her because she's like, freaking just she's like an alien but she's so fucking cute like she's just i don't know i like her a lot Ooh. so she's one of the few female sims that has been born that i'm like nope i like her and then we have skylar i think they're more in my like a minus because i still love them but i don't know if i would necessarily be like absolutely have to use them in something else um but like i still I mean, maybe I would give them normal skin tone, or if we want, needed aliens and something, maybe, because they both look really good, even with the turquoise skin, like, but yeah, I think he's super cute, too, so, I think I might like her a little bit more, but, but yeah, so that's that, those are those, those are Isis's children, all right, and then we've got three more households to look at, one of them does have extra sims in it, so we're not gonna, don't look at these, god, guys, stop looking, um, all right, we'll go into Lupin's house. So we've already seen Imbi's child, uh, Imbi's son, Ezra. So here's Lupin again, Code Realized Boy. Lupin, lovely Lupin. 
Yes. And we know Lupin has good looking kids because he's in our every which way legacy and we've had children with him. So, you know. And then this is his daughter, Naomi. Um, nothing wrong with her. She's actually really cute. Like, she's nothing, like, it could just be sometimes too hair or whatever I just put on them is like, I don't know, but she's cute. She's fine. Nothing wrong with her. Not one of my, like, top favorites, but again, absolutely nothing wrong with her. She's still fucking cute as shit, so, yeah. And again, my personal favorites is, like, sometimes it's just they come out when, like, things just happen when I'm, like, giving them makeovers, and I'm like, yes! And other Sims, I just don't, like... I'm not feeling when I do it. And it's like, like logistically, she's super fucking pretty. But it, she doesn't have that, oh God, yeah, that special place on my heart where you're like, yes, I love them for whatever reason. Like some of our other Sims we showed in the last part, you, I look at and I'm like, theoretically, they're not, oh my God, they're gorgeous, but I love them for some fucking reason. Um, but yeah, no, she's really pretty. Again, we've only had two that I've come across that I've just been like, big ass fails. And one of them was Arthur. We already saw him. That was Velma's son. Okay, so we can move them out. Don't look at the other Sims. Uh, we got to pop in here. You. So this should be Ryland Kunikita, right? Antrip, California. Why? I never changed. Oh, you know what? It's probably your traits. But the weird thing is, is when I came in to give you makeovers, that didn't happen. Anyway, this is Edwin. So, well, this was his dad. So, Rylan Kunikita was from, I'm thinking, well, it was from one of our Bungo Stray Dog Sims and someone else. I don't remember if it was two of the Bungo Stray Dog Sims or like with Colorado or what. I don't know. Don't know. Doesn't matter. He was just someone that I had made in cast for funsies. And anyway, he's gorgeous. Theory. And then there's Edwin, who's also a spellcaster, who's cute. He's definitely got the Morgan nose. There's nothing wrong with him. He's cute. He's up there. He's in one of my, like, he's like in the, the kind of A minus range. You know, I like him, but he's not one of my top favorites just because, again, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes they just hit that top favorites and sometimes they don't. Could you fucking stop so we can just, like, look at you, like, normally? Like, but, like, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No, nothing wrong. And sometimes it's hard because, like, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, no, I like them. And then later I'm like, do I? And then I'm like, yeah, I do. I don't know. Anyway, don't look at the rest of them. You stop. Um, also, don't look at that one. Uh, so here's the weird part. We have to go into this household. Um, we'll see the other child afterward. So. Yeah, okay. So this was Emery. We remember when we met him. He is like, he was just fun. We I just had some fun doing some like weird fantasy shit with him. And when I made him a cast and then like, whatever. So he had Levi and Levi is actually one of my favorites. So this is Levi. Just ignore the girl here. We'll see her next time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I just love him. Cause like, he's just, I don't know. Like he's also, he's not a spellcaster, but he just, there's something there's Morgan in you, but there's also, and I don't know where it came from because you don't even look like Emery that much, but like, I don't know. Like, I, we've also used that for, I think. I don't know. There's not a lot of male custom <laughs> content that we have to work with, but I just love you because he's so different. He just doesn't look like everybody else. I don't know. You don't look like your dad either, which is just really weird. Maybe, well, maybe you have his eye shape. You definitely don't have the eye color. I don't know where you got the brown eyes from, but hey. Um, he did not get the grilled cheese hair and the lettuce eyes, okay? Because <laughs> like, they're like super green, but like, you didn't get the green eyes and the yellow hair. Like, I don't, okay. Don't know, but I like him a lot. So, just because. He just looks like 
I don't know. I just like him. Anyway, there you go. So that's that. Those are all the kids that we are going to show you this time just because it would spend we would spend even longer trying to go through another 10, but I only have 9 of them done. One of them is not done. We will leave them there so we can uh see them. Let's come over here. Uh and I will try to get makeovers done. So, we will find out if in this part uh we managed to hit up. We've got six more people to hit up. And that would give us 120 people. Wow. If we can get Harlow. I don't even know. We're going to have to find out. But we'll figure out by the end of this episode if we are going to go through. So this should be, again, unless it takes too long to hit up those last six people. Um, okay. Go pee. It's 4 p.m. We're going to make our rounds. It's New Year's Eve. Oh, you're sleeping? Why are you going to sleep? Wait, what? What's happening? Were you sleeping when I started? But it's like... Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot we got to name these kids. Oh, God. Where are we? Oh, God. Where are we? Where's... Oh, there we go. Oh. Daphne and Cyrus. I don't know where we were in the having babies... Okay. Someone was here? Who was there? Okay. I don't even know. Go pee. Go take a shower. Um, or a bath. Today's my favorite holiday. Okay. Dot. Oh, God. Dot should have had her baby first, but that's okay. Um, we'll find out if we're going to have all of our babies, if we'll at least have pregnated everybody. Then... Uh, what we'll probably have to do, because I will have to play the game, and, you know, I asked in the last part if you wanted to just see me play around or whatever, so thank you to those people who have, you know, given feedback on that uh, so far. Um, so, so far the consensus is, that's fine, we'll just keep playing with Morgan. So, we'll wait for all of our children to be born, so what we'll do for the next few episodes is we'll go through, show as many kids as I have makeovers for, and then we'll just kind of have Morgan go out. If people invite him places, we'll go places. If we're doing stuff, we're doing stuff. Like, whatever, you know? Um, let's make a resolution. Practice singing. Okay, well, I guess. Wow. You know what? Could you maybe not do that? Make a resolution. Um, raise a skill. Okay, stop that. Okay, well. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Now let's travel. Cool. You've You've had a happy... Travel. I know it's 9 p.m. We're starting this late. We're going to go by ourselves. We have got to hit up. Let's see. We've got Gil, Cordell, Jackson, Nestor, Chester, and Harlow. Should be it. So we have everybody in this neighborhood, right? Because, oh, God, and Izzy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did we already get... Oh, we got Izzy and Arama. We got them last time. So wait, what neighborhood are we working on? I completely forgot. I'm so... No, we just have Glimmerbrook. So wait, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five. And then we have Harlow. Okay, so let's go here. And let's do this. We will know by the end of this episode, like I was saying, if we've managed to impregnate the last six people. If not, we'll continue doing that in the next part. But if that's kind of all you're interested in is just watching that, um and you don't care about the makeovers, then, you know, you'll know if you don't have to invest any more time. If you care about the makeovers, then that's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully in the beginning of each part, I'll have some of the Sims made over and be like, hey, here's these people. And like, um, so flirty introduction, flirty introduction. And then we'll knock on the door. Uh, don't mind the fact that technically Gil is half Morgan. Okay, just we're just going to pretend that that's not the case. But that's why he's as cute as fucking can be. Okay, that's why he's as cute as a fucking button. Because technically Morgan is his dad. <laughs> just shut up. Like, it sounds gross when I say it. But let's be real. Only in Cass. Not in this world. Whatever. You know what I mean? What's this? Resolution made. Oh, okay. Um, It's just... 
when I was going through trying to find Sims in the world, I'm like, I love him so much. He's so cute. And I want to put him in the world. But technically, you know, you share genetics with Morgan and like romance, travel baby. Let's just do this. Um, but I was like, fuck it. We'll just pretend that, look, we just happen to have the same last name. It's like Smith in the magical world. And there's Cordell. Who is Colorado's child. What do you mean you can't go have a baby? Why can't you try for baby? Okay, can you do this? Well, why can't you try for baby? More choices. Romance. Try for baby and shower? Do you not have a bed? There's a bed right there. Oh, because Gil went to sleep. Okay, so you can't... You could... Can you not try for a baby in this? I wish you could. I think you can. You can. I guess because we don't have a romance, we can't click it, and maybe you were going to that other bed, and... There we go. Hello. Woohoo in a bush! From being near a bush! You know... That's an odd thing, because I have never once seen a bush and been like, I just have the urge to fuck in that bush. I just, I mean, I get it, it's The Sims, but it is kind of funny that you're like, huh. Or also never walked by a bush and been like, you know what? I just have the sudden urge to pee in that bush. And like Sims will all of a sudden get a whim to like fertilize a bush from being near a bush. Okay. <laughs> like, so random. Oh, it's just funny. Like, this is not, like, a steampunk couch, but for some reason from far away... I mean, it just... It fits, because of the colors. But it's animal print, but far enough away, I was like, the kind of almost looks like a cog. Like, okay, hold on. Pause. You please have a boy, because I'm running out of girl names, and I'm also just tired of making over girls. Pregnancy. Nope. Uh, Offspring. We're doing one, and... I'm just bored making them over. I just don't have fun with them, okay? So we're just... I'm cheating the rest of the way. I don't care. Actually, wait a minute. Do I have any other girl names? Or did I actually run out? I think I have two left. Okay, so... All right, all right, all right. Maybe we'll allow, like, one. <laughs> but not all of them. Okay, can we make him up? Wake up! Wakey, wakey, shake and bakey! I don't know how to rhyme the like wakey wakey we gonna impregnate <laughs> doesn't really rhyme it doesn't work but it kind of works in a creepy sort of way look at these stairs damn he's like hey could you wake up yeah hi oh hi well look at you I forgot that was your outfit no sweet cheeks wait a minute come on put that up put the <laughs> does look too much look just you know what close your eyes close your eyes Pay no attention to what is happening if it weirds you out. Because it weirds me out a little, but we're doing it anyway. Come on! Like, just let's be real here. We've all... We're all curious as to Morgan and Morgan. If you had two Morgans have a baby together, what would that be like? And I don't mean, like, turning Morgan into a woman. Like, making a female Morgan. I mean, literally, two male Morgans having a baby. Would it, look, would it literally be a Morgan clone, or would it be different? So this is, like... Kind of Morgan and like half someone who looks similar. It's like, oh my god, people say we look alike. It's like your doppelganger. That's all Gil is, okay? He has to have a boy, though, because I just want to see if this child looks exactly like Morgan or drastically different. Uh, I don't remember who Gil's other parent is. There was a point where I was telling you all these things, but now I'm just like, whatever. For oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Oh. For anyway. Do, 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 do. <laughs> We're feeling playful. Really? You think? Okay. Can we, like, wake up? Oh, you're going to go grab something. Oh, good. MC Command Center. Pregnancy. Yes. All right. Cool. Perfect. All right. So you're eating. Well, you can go pee. We need more mantis. We really do more, need more lingerie for men. Like, look at how sexy he looks in those. And the thigh-high stockings. I'm sorry. We'd put Morgan in them, but... I mean... I don't think Morgan can handle it. But he looks fucking fabulous. I'm just... 
Just enjoy the man candy sitting behind you. Like, Morgan's eating a salad, and there's some snacks hiding right behind you. Like, some, like, after-dinner snacks. <laughs> Something wrong with me. Is anyone really going to complain? No one's complaining about this. This is... This is amazing, and you love it. Morgan, when did your ears get slightly pointy? How did that happen? Weird. Anyway. Um, yeah, there you go. Before you pee yourself. So he definitely has the booty, though. Anyway, can't see it now. Okay, cool. Are you done eating? Can we travel? Let's travel. Look at all those fucking kids. Let me travel with all these children. All right. While you're finishing eating, I'm going to try to find my highlighter to mark off the people that we've now impregnated. Okay. Where are we going next? We are going to go over here for two more. Let's see. We got Cordell and Gil, and they are right here. Let's cross them off while we're loading. Bloop, bloop. We're cutting it down to the wire. Getting exciting. Almost done. But yeah, so we'll have to play... Um, you know, just, like I said, just chilling out with Morgan. See as many people as we have made over. Uh, let's come over here and do a flirty introduction. And then a flirty introduction. Oh, hi, he just hurt himself. And then we can knock on the door. Oh, hello, just hello. Oh, oh, he just, he ran around. He, he went away. Okay, well, let's, let's wait. Let's just go knock on the door. Oh, wait. Let's just go knock on the door unless he's coming back. Because he went to a different door. So let's just go knock on the door. And then we can do a flirty introduction after we knock on door. We just got to get let in the house. It's so sad. If we hadn't come over, these poor fools would have been, like, stuck outside. Um. Now we can do a flirty introduction. Come on in! Cool. Feels like I'm wearing... Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I don't know why the come on in. Just you stupid buy. sexy Flanders. <laughs> well, Dag. Jackson's got problems. Um, more choice. Romance. Sure. Try for baby <laughs> and shower. <laughs> all right. So. All right. <laughs> So you're going over there for that, oh, and then... <laughs> Alright, are you going? Are you going? Are you going? Are you getting it on? Are you gonna... Are you gonna get it on? Oh, 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 Chester was trying to take a shower. Chester, I'm gonna need you to back the fuck out so I can impregnate your roommate here. Morgan just... You can... Your turn next! Don't worry! Why does our relationship look like crap with him? Well, more choices. Romance. Let's see where... Try for baby... No, we don't have any other, like, options to try for baby. We can woohoo in the observatory. But I can't try for a baby with. What you doing? You're super cute. You have teddy hair. Call it teddy hair because it looks like teddy's hair. You have the same hair as Teddy. You have braces, too. You're cute. You're adorable with your neon red hair. It's not natural. He's like, bitch, it is. I'm a natural neon red. I'm a natural Ronald McDonald red. I'm a natural pink. MC Command Center. Pregnancy. You're having a girl. All right, we'll let you keep your girl. But that's it. No more. More choices. Romance. More choices. Try for baby. Kluba. Oh. Hello, Chester. Hello, Chester. Oh, yeah. I think so. Well, let's see. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, whoops. Sorry. There you go. All right, and we can mark him off on our list while these two are going, and you're just staring at things, whatever. Nope, that's Nestor. He's next. And then we will invite Harlow over and hope that we can actually impregnate Harlow, and if not, then... Well, shit. 
that'll suck, but he'll be our last <laughs> attempted conquest. All right, Chester. Let's get you pregnant. And then we're done. Not done. We got one more house to go to. And then, you know, got to fight what's-his-face ever, so. Ooh, magic. Spells. Burgly eight. Let's steal it. That's not. <laughs> I came to your house. I impregnated you and your roommate. I stole your fucking mail, and then while we're at it, let's light something on fire. Oh, magic! Light it on fire. Okay, can we wake you up? Wake up. Get up. Come on, Chester. I need to check if you're pregnant. I ain't got time for this. Hey, Chester, I'm gonna need you to get up for a second. Thank you. MC Command Center, pregnancy. All right, we gotta do this again. More choices. Romance. Try for baby in the shower. Okay, Morgan, are you dizzy from... Excellent holiday, doing what I... The Sim is having fun because they're doing what they love and that also makes them happy. Doing what he loves. Impregnating people. See? Morgan is down for it too. Um, What were you dizzy from? Had woohoo. Dizzy from pleasantly satisfied woohoo. What am I doing out here from being in the blizzard and... No, I mean, I don't know. Work smarter, not harder. I know, but you're going to have to work a little harder if you can't get this man pregnant. I mean, Jesus, Morgan. Now take a hot shower. Get all hot and steamy and soapy and get him pregnant. Come on. All right. Uh, oh, well, okay. Asher just had a baby. That is Victor. Thanks. Oh, yeah, no one called while we were knocking over all the other people. Knocking over and knocking up all the other people. Please be pregnant. Okay, but no, we're going to change that because we can't have any more female names. I'm sick of it. I don't want it. And we had like a million before, and I ran, like I said, I ran out of names. So let's go to travel one more time. Okay, go again. Oh, whoops. Also, you were literally just in the shower, so I'm going to call fucking shenanigans on you needing a shower. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go get Nestor. Hopefully he's awake. And Nestor is obviously the child of Akira from Persona 5 and somebody. I don't know. Probably Colorado. Don't mind the household name. That was just whatever they were in the gallery and things. Just, ah! Sorry. I threw my notebook. I threw it! I threw it so hard, I'm sick of these shenanigans. No, um, it fell. Why can't I knock on the door? Okay, knock on door. Wait, pause. Okay, what the fuck? Where is the goddamn... Wait, 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 wait. How can I can just go in? Have I been here before? Wait a minute, I was like, I can't knock on the door. Have I been here before? Oh, wait, is he right there? Oh, there he is. Nestor. No, we've never met him, so why the hell can I just go into his house? You know what? Don't ask stupid questions, Spacey. Just shut the fuck up. Let it happen. Sh shush, Spacey. Shut it up. Shut your pie hole and let it happen. Let the magic happen. Oh, God. I can't. Okay. Where? Wait. Okay. Sitting down now. He Don't actually... You, you have the same hair as Cordell, don't you? Or what's his face? No. Jackson. I feel like you do. Like, hi, hello, you're gorgeous too. Where, you know, I gotta stop making Sims and Cass because there's like too many of these hotnesses. Like, look at you. Look at how fucking gorgeous you are. What the hell? Why are you so hot? Where do you, like, all right, anyway. Romance. I want to try for baby in the observatory, but we can't, which is unfortunate. So let's go try. I guess you don't have a double bed. I'm guessing. No, you have a single. You have a couple single beds up in here. Which just makes the woohooing hard. Why is he in your house? Why is he in your property? I guess that doesn't count as your property, but kind of looks like it. Anyway. Oh! Noah just had a baby. Oh! Okay, we had twins with him. Whoops. Tristan. 
Marit. Okay. I just had twins. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, I'm just disappointed that we didn't keep up with the fact that every single time he's boning someone, someone calls. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's like so, like, that. I mean, that's obviously like a custom piece before they became, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's cool. It's obviously whoever, like, built the lot had some, like, oh, yeah, custom paintings. It's awesome. Can we steal these? I don't want to keep them. Is that one, too? Damn. I love the steampunk paintings in here. We need these in real, like, life. We need these in my game, bitch. Um, anyway. So... I don't know what I was going to say. Anyway, yeah, they always called. They would always call. No, stop it. We don't want any more girls. There's too many. And I don't enjoy making them over. All right, there you go. Okay, now we can go home. Travel. And, wait, 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 wait. Do we have romance? We do have romance with Harlow. Because we, Harlow was the one we needed, yes. Let's travel with Harlow. Let's get him to our house. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, Chester was having a boy, right? I didn't write it down. But anyway. Okay, we're going to go to our house. Let's travel to our house and see if we can get Harlow pregnant this time. That's what we're going to do for the next 10 minutes is hope the fuck that this works. Because Harlow is being a pain in our ass. I don't know why he does not want to get pregnant. I don't know. Maybe it's his house, his lot, something. But this is our last dance with him, okay? Or our last 10 minutes worth of dancing with him. It's going to be real difficult. Where the hell is my bird? Bird, where are you? Where's Neelix? Seriously, I lost my fucking bird. I'm sure he's around here somewhere, but like... Other birds in its cage, so no idea where Neelix is. <laughs> my beast. More choices. Romance. Ask him to be your boyfriend. I mean, maybe that's why. Let's just try for baby in the shower. We can try for baby in the bush. We can just try for baby everywhere. Where the fuck literally is my bird, though? Where's Neelix? Are you following them, right? Okay, good. Where the hell is he? Hey. My bird yeah. is fucking missing, guys. <laughs> you go watch them, and I'm gonna go walk over here and see if I can find him hiding somewhere, being quiet. Where the hell is Neelix? Look. My... Bird is missing. I just... <laughs> um... Where's your brother? He's probably in the fucking bedroom. Or the bathroom. He's not with me, is he? No. He's probably in the fucking bathroom. Dumbass. Alright, well that's interesting. Because he's not- Oh, you know what? I bet I know exactly where he is. <laughs> I found you! You little bastard! I was calling to you because I couldn't find where you were. You naughty little bastard. So I'm sure we know from other things, and I don't know when I've shared this, but like next to his cage, I have like a little cardboardy footstool kind of a thing. It's where I put all the bird toys, the blankets go on top, and he's been... Woo, with 50 unique sims? More like 120 right now, okay? Um, wow. Harlow just really does not want to get fucking pregnant. Man, this is just... Try for baby and bush. I don't know. Can we... Can we add him to our house and have him impregnate us? Like, whatever, it's fine. Like, I just don't understand why this isn't working. Anyway, so he likes to play sometimes between that and the wall. He's just... And every once in a while, he goes back there... And you can hear him, like, talking to the wall. So he was hiding back there. Can I see? Are you back there again? What are you doing? Okay. It is near the wall, but there is a space between it and the little bookshelf that's kind of, like, my wall's kind of on an angle. It's not, like, a, um, 
hold on. Chance just had a baby. Okay. Right? And I literally look over and you can see in the shadow of the crack his fucking eyeballs staring at you. Like, the fuck, Bert? He's just sitting back there staring out the crack like a fucking weirdo. Oh my god. But like, I wasn't walking around. I'm like walking around. I was like, where the fuck is Neil? Where is he? Where's my bird? Nope. And I was like, shit, like something could have happened to him. Like he'll fly every once in a while into my bedroom and just sit in the bedroom in the dark. And you're like, or the bathroom. He loves the fucking bathroom. I don't know. But I mean, I just really don't fever. No, you're not. You're not getting sick because that's bullshit. No, you're not. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Pause. You are not getting sick. I fucking hate that. I hate that. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate it. You're not getting goddamn sick. I do not fucking want sickness in my fucking game. And I hate that it just got... I can't fucking take it out anymore. Um, alright. So, let's try this again. I do not know what is wrong with Harlow! I just do not understand. Can we just modify you and get... I've looked! Your options are there! Like... It, with MC Command Center, you should be able to get pregnant. Nobody else is... Hi! You're acting like, I didn't do anything, but I know you did. Get others pregnant. I'm just gonna get pregnant. I'm just gonna put this... I'm gonna change it. Like, I don't know... I Look, I know logistically, well, it says get others pregnant. But hello, it's MC Command Center. Every other male in the game is can get others pregnant, and Morgan has gotten them pregnant. It's not... It's something serious. Like, I don't fucking know what is wrong with Harlow that he just will not get fucking pregnant. We have wooed with him like 30 fucking times. <laughs> like, not quite, but like, that's a slight exaggeration, but not by much. Like, I do not know what is happening with him. And like, I mean, I guess we can try risky woohoo. Where did he go? Is he here? Where the fuck is he? We left him by a bush, but I don't remember where the bush is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can we pause before he walks out the door? Let's try this again. <laughs> MC Command Center. Pregnancy. We'll see. We could do pregnancy start, but I can't. Actually, yes, we can. Hold on a second. Use active, right? Wait a minute. Oh, well, there we go. Hold on. He's not actually pregnant, right? Okay. Let's actually try this one more time now that we changed his options. Um, more choices. Romance. Try for baby in the sauna. Let's try this. One last time, and if it doesn't work, we're just going to auto-set his pregnancy. Okay, we're just going to fucking do it. Um, And it's like, Morgan's not pregnant. <laughs> Current children, 130. <laughs> <laughs> wait yeah because 113 right 17 he'll have 134 after we do this 134 <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> And so far, out of the ones we've seen, only one of them is kind of a fail where I'm like, yeah, nope, nope, we got to send you to the reject factory. The rest of them are all pretty damn good looking. Like, there's either, no, you're cute, or like, downright gorgeous. Morgan, you're getting a little thick, bad boy. I mean, for Morgan. Maybe it's just that outfit. Maybe it's just that butt. I don't know. Like, every once in a while, the angle, and it's like, but you really don't from the front. But like, and he really doesn't. Yeah. I think it's just when you see him on an angle and you see that fucking ass, it's like, here's Morgan. Here's his ass. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with dead ass. It's a very nice one. Thank you. Look, ladies like to look at nice booties on boys too. Okay. Men are the only ones like, oh, Chica says nice ass. Um, hi, nobody wants a flat ass man either. Thanks. Like, <laughs> like my, like. Thoughts matter. Richard, right? Yeah, that's it. Yep. That was Blair, right?
Yeah. <laughs> the hair is so beautiful. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. Ooh, we just got struck by lightning, and hopefully that resulted in a goddamn pregnancy, because I am... You are... Hey, it worked! <laughs> but you're having a girl, goddammit. You're having a boy. Actually, you know what? I'll let you have both, so then we can have 135 children, make it a nice round kind of sort of-ish number. There you go. Oh, my God. And we'll use our last girl name. There you go. Now I literally have no more because I was like, all right. No more girl names. I mean, I do have some quote unquote gender neutral names. Oh my God, it's about fucking time. Oh no, I forgot I had other plans. He's like, that's okay. I fucking impregnated you. That's all I needed to goddamn do. You are not actually, you didn't get pregnant at all, did you? No, okay cool and in this whole entire time morgan's gotten abducted by aliens but has never fucking gone pregnant clean out your spoiled food um yeah so that's it this is the last episode of impregnating people morgan no longer has to impregnate anyone we've impregnated the world we're fucking done fucking done huh. fucking done um we've impregnated now 120 sims <laughs> i am so proud of morgan in 20 episodes like we're classy who in the world are you who are you buddy who's this who's this dude do we know you dorian kimball do i know you dorian do i know you can i just like hi cheerful introduction i am not giving you a flirty introduction but i'll say hi to you i guess hi Dorian Kimball, don't know who you are while you're at my house, but okay. Hey, what's up? What's up, buddy? Anyway, so if you were only interested in watching him impregnate people, there you go. We're done. Um, if you are interested in the kids' makeovers, we will be starting each episode with that until we're basically done with them. Um, so depending on who I get done, like I have... A bunch ready for the next time. Did you hear about the Italian chef who died? He passed away. Yes, it did. Okay. Uh, so I got like one more sim, and then we have ten, and then we might have groups. I might have like five here, ten there, twenty there. Who knows? Um, but actually, what I think I might do is just go through whoever I have. So, for example, even though like Kyoko, we impregnated her the thirty second. I already made over her child because she lives in the house with Junko, who was number 25. You know what I mean? So I'm just making them over household-wise. Um, so I might just show off, like, whoever we have aged up at the time. Here's this, this, that, you, whatever. I don't think you care. It doesn't have to be in order. So we'll do that in the beginning of every episode, and then we'll just kind of come out and hang out with Morgan for, like, 10, 15 minutes, whatever depending on how much time we have left, the episodes might be a little bit shorter um, and just kind of just do the, th the thing. We're not going to go around trying to impregnate anybody, but we'll just watch Morgan wander around. If people call him and ask him to hang out, we'll go hang out. If it's a holiday, we'll do some holiday shit. Uh, if people want to come over, we'll like, you know, whatever. Um, maybe we'll have him work on a spell casting. I don't really know what the point is because like, I mean, this Morgan will be so fucking amazing and know all the spells, but it's not like I can save him to my gallery because then if you put him anywhere, he's going to lose everything. So, I don't know. Uh, although, in any other sim we place in this world, if we want to use this actual game save again, like, everyone's related to Morgan, which actually isn't a problem to me because, hello, that's amazing. But And I do want to use this game save somewhere else and something else. Obviously not this exact file, but this save. This is a base save. Like, I made this save and I can use it anywhere. It just doesn't have all the sims in it. But anyway, um, so that's what we'll do. We'll go through the makeovers and then we'll just kind of piddle along with Morgan. So if you just wanted to watch him impregnate people, like, okay. Yes, I said we would normally say yes to dates, but we're going to bed right now. So we're going to say no to that one and because this is the end of the part. So. And we're just going to do that until all of the children have at least been born and aged up. So once 
Harlow's children are born um, and aged up to at least toddlers where I can go in and give them makeovers. Teddy just had a baby. Hold on. Oh, God. Right. Oh, is this the girl or the boy? Okay. Vegas and Peaches. There you go. Teddy just had two babies. So, um, awesome. Good job. Take a shower and then actually go to sleep. I don't know why this dude's in my house still, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I keep trying to say this so we can end this part. Going to do makeovers and then we'll just hang out with Morgan doing whatever. So you don't have to stick around if you just wanted to see him impregnate everybody. But if you want to see the makeovers, that's what we'll be doing until all of them are aged up and done. And then that will be the last part. But I would warn you at that point. So um, and at the beginning of each part. You know, we'll go through the makeovers if we don't get to hang out with Morgan because we have so many makeovers and it takes 20, 30 minutes. That'll be what happens. So if we have extra time, we'll hang out with Morgan. If we don't, we'll just show the makeovers. So going forward, it's going to be a little weird. So if you don't want to stick around and see all that, you don't have to. So anyway, I'll see you guys. For those of you that will stick around next time, remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.